what is up? It is Snitchery. How you doing? I have two things to address before we get into this video. Number one, I apologize for the background here. I just moved. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Anyway, I just moved into this apartment. It is the first place I've ever had completely to myself. And also, I have to give the biggest thank you for all the support on my latest video. The one about how to make your lips look bigger. I had always thought that makeup tutorials were kind of like out of style and nobody really wanted to watch them anymore, which is the reason I didn't really do them. But seeing all your guys' support on that video, it's really inspired me to get back into them because they are kind of my roots. All of that to say, today is going to be another one of those videos in the same format, but we're talking about our eyes. Personally, I think lips and eyes, eyebrows, make the biggest difference on a face, or at least make the biggest difference on my face. Eyes are maybe the most important feature on our face. It's the feature that most people notice first in others. They're really expressive, put together. They're sort of the biggest thing on our face, so I definitely wanted to make the next video in this series all about how to make your eyes look bigger. There are also other ways to do your eye makeup where you can make your eyes look more like cat eyed or make your eyes look smaller even if you have really big eyes. I do that sort of makeup as well sometimes so if you want a video on that as well let me know in the comments. And like this video if you want to see more videos in this series. I definitely know I want to do one on nose contouring and I want to do one on like that model-esque contour. Sort of how you can fake the hollow cheeks and the really like flushed perfect seamless skin. The sort of like elongated cat eye, all that stuff you can fake with makeup. So if you're interested, like this video and let me know in the comments which one you want to see next. Last thing, if this is your first time seeing my face and you're ever interested in seeing my face again, please subscribe down below. I love my little family here on YouTube and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming along with me on this little video journey. It literally means the world. So I'm not gonna dilly dally. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Welcome back to my little rat face. At the very least, you can't see the background really, so that's a plus. So the first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Now, if you follow me on here or on Instagram or any of my other social media platforms, you've probably seen that I change my eyebrow shape a lot. The reason I'm doing brows first in this tutorial is because I feel like it's almost the most subjective. Like, there are definitely different brow shapes that look more flattering on different face shapes, but I think typically if you have a nice brow, regardless of the shape and thickness, it's gonna frame your face well. I mean, brow shapes and types go in and out of style. Like the bushy natural brow is really big right now, but the Insta brow was really big like a year or two ago. So to me, brows are more like personal preference, stylistic preference. The way I'm doing them right now though does make my eyes look a little bit bigger because I've actually shaved off sort of the tail end of my brow. I do like to elongate them. I like to make them more arched, so. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and spoolie all the hairs up. I'm gonna be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is in the color three. And the way that I do my brows is I'm actually gonna start in the inner corner and just start drawing little lines to fill them in. I want these to look like little hairs as much as possible. And then I take my brow actually in a little bit towards my nose, just drawing little hairs. You don't want it to look blocky. You don't really want it to look thick. And then I take that pencil and I just draw a line underneath. Personally, for my brows, I keep everything pretty soft, but if you wanna make like a really harsh line with the concealer and everything, you do you. Again, I really think brows are just personal preference and I like mine to look a little bit more unkempt. I'm gonna take that line through my brow, right at the bottom of the hairs, and then I'm actually going to extend it. My camera battery is dying, that is so tragic. My brow actually stops here because of where I shaved it, but I'm bringing it out to here. I'm gonna take my pencil through the actual hairs of my brow, and then when I get to right here is where my brow hair actually ends, I'm going to extend that. So normally I'd be filling in as I go, but I'm gonna show you guys the line that I'm making. You see that? So we have all this skin that there's not actually hair. I'm just gonna take my pencil and fill that in. But if you can see, it still looks like the brow hair just stopped. So what I'm gonna do next is take a tiny little angled brush. This is the Ofra Professional Makeup 04 brush. And then take a dark brown color. I'm using Matte Wood from the Balm Meet Matte Nude Palette. And just drawing at the tail end of my brow. bringing that color in towards the brow hairs. Lastly for my brows, I'm gonna be going in with the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit Cosmetics. This is my, probably my favorite brow product of all time. I do find that it just sets my brows without making them look like glued down, but they do stay all day. So I'm gonna brush the front up and then taper it off 
towards the back so that the front is going up and then as it moves into my brow it goes from up 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 to the side I don't know if that makes sense but hopefully you can tell what I'm doing from like my motions so as you can see this is sort of a marriage between the insta brow and the fluffy brow it's not particularly neat but it's also not just like the fluffy brows sort of have hairs going in all directions and these are a bit more sculpted this is what I've been doing lately but again I will say it once I will say it twice brows are really really a matter of personal preference as is all makeup I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my other brow off camera the lighting might be a little different because I think I'm gonna charge my camera as well but I will see you guys in a second alrighty I am back now the reason I extend my eyebrows so far towards the edge of my face is because my eyes are really really close together I have very close set eyes so if my eyebrows are also on the shorter end it makes the rest of my face look flushier almost there's just a lot of open skin around the entirety of my face especially up in this area when I extend my eyebrows out it sort of cuts that line of just like face with no facial features I don't think I'm explaining it properly but if you have close set eyes try extending your eyebrows a little bit and see if you like it it works for me the next thing we're gonna do is create sort of a uh, arch for our eye I'm gonna go in with my Mac a87 brush this is probably my favorite brush of all time it's also what I use for my nose contour as well as the Too Faced chocolate Soleil I think it's Soleil. They're a little bronzer. And I'm going to go up into my eye and just start darkening up the crease. Should I leave one eye small until the end? I feel like that could be kind of fun. So for this, you want to make sure that the color isn't too far off your skin tone. Unless you want to do like a full, full cut crease look, then go off with your bad self. But for me, I don't want this to look like a cut crease. I just want it to look like we have a, a higher, a higher eyelid. More eye is bigger eye. I'm going to go in with my foundation shade. This is the ABH Luminous Foundation. I've been loving it lately. And I'm also going to take that same little Ofra brush and cut the crease. Even though I am cutting the crease, it doesn't really look like a cut crease because the color is so similar. And it doesn't need to be super neat either. Out of that same The Balm palette, I'm going to take the shade Matte Rose in here on our concealer brush. And I'm going to trace along that line just to darken it up the tiniest bit. I'm really focusing on the inner half of my eye. The outer half is going to have a lot going on later, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't do this stuff every day because it's not really essential for my eye shape. You can see when my eyes are staring straight forward, you can't really see a difference. It's more so for when I lift my eyes like this or you're seeing me underneath, this eye just looks a little bit bigger already. Next, we are going to do my favorite eye trick of all time, literally. I cannot live without this now. I started doing it about a year ago and I've done it every day since. But we're going to take that little brush and we are going to draw on fake under eye bags. <laughs> going in with a mix of Matte Rosen and Matte Abdul. This is not a sponsored video by any company. It's also not sponsored by The Balm, but I, ah, oh my God, ah, oh my God. I do love this palette. I think these are really good neutral staples. I'm just gonna draw along the shape of my eye with a mix of that brown and that gray. A little under eye bag. Also, if you can see like texture here, I actually scratched my nose. It's not the foundation bunching up, it is texture on my skin. You hate to see it. And regardless of what eye shape you have, just make sure you follow the eye shape. You can, this sounds sort of gross, but you can actually feel your eyeball when you press down with the brush. So I just follow that. Make sure it's not just one line. You want to make it kind of soft, but you also don't want to soften it too much because you don't want it to look like eyeshadow. You want it to look like a shadow. So you can already see this versus this. This eye looks so much bigger. It's literally my number one trick I tell anybody to do. It sounds crazy, like draw on eye bags, but shit works. Next with the same palette, I'm going to go into Matte Malloy. And I'm going to just pat that along right underneath my lash line. I don't want it to look white. I just want it to look bright. So I'm not making this too pigmented. If you have paler skin, you can probably get away with adding more white, but on me, it's pretty stark. So I don't add too much. Next, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Now this could be an entirely separate video altogether, but I do like doing winged eyeliner with this technique. The reason being, we just added that sort of faux cut crease and the under eye bag, which extends our eye uh, vertically. But I also want to extend my eye horizontally as much as possible if I'm trying to make it look as big as possible. And a wing is just about the quick and easiest way to do that. I think I kind of draw my wings weird actually and if you want a whole video on how I draw them I can do that but I start at the end and drag it along the top fill in the bottom so that they meet up in a point and then I stop right about here 
right before the end of my lashes. I don't want a thick line on the inside of my eye because that will shut our eye down. It'll close it off. We really want the inside to be open so it looks bigger and brighter. But I am getting really heavy with it on the outer corner. I'm gonna take my mascara. This is the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. It is my favorite mascara of all time. I will say it does get a little clumpy, but it's worth it because personally, I like my lashes to look kind of clumpy. So for my bottom lashes, I use kind of a weird technique, okay? I want my bottom lashes to be really full and big because again, we're trying to make our eye look bigger, so everything has to be a little bit exaggerated. However, I don't want to close off my eye by having a lot of black down here because we did just create that under eye bag. So what I do is I clump my bottom lashes together. I try to have like sort of little pairs, I'll show you, of lashes so it looks like I have a lot of lower lash, but it still leaves my eye open. So I take my mascara on the tip. I don't use it like this ever. I just go on the tip. And when you run it along, they just sort of naturally clump together. Run it along your lashes and you'll see little clumps start to form. So with the brush, I make sure to separate them. See, you can see right there, there's a little clump. You can see, even as I'm doing it, they're starting to separate. And look how much bigger that made my eye look because we have some volume down here now. We have some lash, but even though we have all that black, it's not closing off our eye. I'm gonna match the top with some mascara. Also, side note for the wing, you can make that as big or as small as you want. I prefer a really big wing. As you can see, the rest of my makeup is pretty dramatic, so it works for me. But if you like a more natural look, you can keep the wing much, much smaller. Just follow the rest of the steps and you'll get the same effect. If you want your eyes to look even bigger, I do this sometimes. I take a bit of a thicker brush Brush. This is makeup addiction. I don't even know where I got this. I'm gonna take a darker brown color in this case matte wood Which we use for our brows and I'm gonna take that under eye bag color down even further Not much don't go overboard on this step You can look like a Tim Burton character real quick, but I think sometimes the eye look allows for it next I'm gonna work on the brow a little bit more. I'm gonna be taking a bit of a bigger angled brush This is the morphe mb 11 taking that matte malloy shade that stark white and I'm just gonna press that underneath my brow and Then drag the color down again. I don't like my brows to look super concealery super really harsh But I do want them to look lifted So I do add a little bit of color underneath that brow using the same brush I'm gonna be going in with my bare minerals highlighter. This is in the shade free I've been loving this lately because it's not very dramatic. It's pretty subtle I'm gonna take some pigment and run it right along the same spot just to give it a little bit of a glow You can see when I turn my head a little bit of a sheen not only does it disguise that stark white But it also helps lift the brow in and of itself and I'm also gonna be taking that shade on the inner corner of my eye running it right along the bottom here where we placed that white originally we have lashes next now lashes again are sort of a stylistic preference my lashes that I wear really 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 very much like my brows I don't remember where these are from I wish I did but if you can see they are also pretty separated like my lower lashes, but they're not as pointy at the top. They sort of fluff out. I like that lately. This last step is kind of for giggles. For some reason, I only have one blue contact. I do not know why. I must have when I was using this prescription, just like lost one. But just to show more of a difference, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in. These are Fresh Look Color Blends. Normally I wear their Sterling Gray contacts. They're like my everyday prescription contacts. And I have found that on my skin tone, having a lighter, brighter eye does make my eye look a little bit bigger. It's the opposite for some people. Sometimes darker eyes actually make their eyes look a little bit bigger if you wear circle lenses your eyes will definitely look larger but on me they've always looked a little crazy so I don't really fuck with them but there you go that is how to make your eye look significantly larger from this to this if you made it to the end of this video go ahead and put an eye emoji in the comments duh either little like looking eyes is there another eye emoji I feel like yes I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and continue on with my day but be sure again to like this video if you like this series on how to change certain features of your face and be sure to let me know what you want to see next whether it's bone structure noses fake freckles literally whatever you guys want thank you for being my friend today and always and I will see you guys in the next one Mwah! bye guys